All right, today I want to talk about just getting um, realigned with uh, your mental headspace. Um, so I'm right now trying to, I think I'm going to try, try, fingers crossed, to quit smoking. I got, I got a little vape thingy. This is a shitty one, it's called Jax. Really shitty, but hey, I mean... At least it gets a little bit of that nicotine, you know? It's all that matters. But, I figure I should uh, really try. Try, try, try to quit. That's going to be tough, because I love smoking. It's not that I um, necessarily want the chemicals. Don't. Uh, it's just, I like the act of it. It helps me think. So i got to think of other ways of doing it uh, where I want to think but I also want to feel good. I'm also a little bit low on weed. Actually, I've got no more weed right now. And I could go get alcohol, but I'm afraid if I get alcohol, I'll make stupid decisions. So we're gonna avoid that one. <laughs> um, so we're gonna stick to getting high on our own supply with some breath work. Uh, and this is the technique that I go for. So I'm gonna just sh show you guys what it looks like here hopefully so I usually uh, flip this I think let's see what happens all right I think this is good so I'm gonna be sitting crisscross uh, I got my one knee here one knee here I usually put my hands there to kind of start um, and then sometimes I'll actually just use my hands as a a uh, signal for myself to go in and then out. Um, the repetitive cycle is going to be um, you inhale from your diaphragm and you exhale from your diaphragm, but you're going to uh, not hold. So as soon as you inhale, you're going to exhale. As soon as you exhale, you're going to inhale um, type of thing. And you're going to do this as a full breath um, as much as you can. And you want to try to pick up the speed. The faster that you pick up the speed, uh, and, and, the, and the deeper that you're able to do this with your diaphragm, you're going to start getting lightheaded. And then once you get lightheaded, there will be a point where you can stop breathing and you exhale all the air out and you just sit. And you sit in peace for anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes, uh, depending on how well did you oxidize your blood. Um, that's pretty much, this is the process. This is, um... Wim Hof's method as well as for many particular uh, free divers for example uh, they do this type of breath work so that way they can hold their breath for multiple minutes as they go down um, for me I find it as a good way to get high uh, and then also uh, to kind of be inside my head for a little while and just kind of think and feel and enjoy. So, without further ado, here we go. Oh, one last thing. You want to do at least like 30, 30 breaths. Uh, so, but I'm gonna let's let's, let's do this.
And that was just one round. Um, you want to usually do like <clears throat> um, two, three, four, and do that back to back. Um, each time that you do that, you should be able to hold your breath a little bit longer and longer. Um, you'll feel tingling in your body. My hands, when they uh, get to this point, kind of like cramp up. Uh, I prefer doing this in the cold. So I'm going to take off the jacket. When you get to the last breath, exhale all the way out, and then um, when you're done holding, when you're about to feel that sensation of breathe again, ideally you want to uh, fight. <coughs> Sorry, you want to fight that uh, that urge to breathe, but. It's up to you uh, when you want to go ahead and, and rebreathe. Um, if you fight it, you can definitely s stick it out much further. Um, but on that breath to come back, you inhale and then you hold it, but you push the air to your head. So you just kind of hold that air for your head in your head for a little bit. About five seconds, ten seconds. And then exhale. And then you can either go back to breathing. I usually tend to use that as my second chance to kind of go back into a trance like state. And uh, yeah, so that was round one. So I'm going to try again. So I didn't go as hard as the second time, um, just because I'm still feeling it from the first one, but usually I, for some reason, I can't go too far into a second one unless I got some guided help. Um, usually my guided help is an audio uh, that just has Wim Hof going, breathe, motherfucker, pretty much. Um, but... 
Uh, another one that I like is the cold shower. If you do this in a cold shower, you're going to, especially if you're a guy, you're going to increase your testosterone. Uh, you're going to feel much more lively and awake, uh, energetic. This one's, you know, for everybody. And uh, you're just going to feel really awesome. But the cold will help you just naturally go, <laughs> which is that kind of repetitiveness that you need. So, anyway, I'm going to continue just meditating and thinking and uh, try to get myself ready for the day without a cigarette because this is going to only last so long and then there's no more. So, peace and